Hey fans, this is Coach Jesse Davis of the Fargo Force, and as we head into our playoff season, we'd like to have some of our players share their experiences with their postseason uh, events on the, some of the former teams that they played on, and today we have Dominic Tontinato, one of our forwards. Dom, how you doing today? Doing well, how are you? Very good. Tom, uh, you played uh, three times in the high school state tournament, and uh, why don't you share some of your experiences that you went through uh, getting there and, and as a team and what helped you as a player individually? Yeah, it's a, it's a huge tournament in Minnesota. Um, every kid growing up in Minnesota playing hockey dreams of playing down there. I mean, you're playing in the XL Energy Center in front of 18,000 fans. Um, not everybody can say that. And uh, like you said, I was fortunate enough to make it to three. Um, my first year, my sophomore year, uh, we beat Elk River in the section finals, um, and it was it was an amazing feeling um, just knowing that we were going down to that state tournament. Um, and the first time you get down there, it's your jaw just drops when you look out and see 18,000 fans. But uh, you got to go out there, take it all in during warm ups so you don't have the jitters as bad when you go out there. And then second year, my junior year, we beat Grand Rapids. It was actually a comeback game. Uh, we were down one nothing in the third, tied it with a minute and a half left, ended up winning in overtime. And uh, we, we actually took second that year, losing to Eden Prairie um, in triple overtime. And uh, playing in the championship game is even more amazing than, than even just getting down there. And then our, my senior year, um, we had a lot of high hopes. Uh, we were the favorite coming in. We were like 27-1, and one, and uh, we ended up getting upset first round by Lakeville and uh, took consolation. And, and from your first time being there to your, to your third time being there, uh, you know, what was it like for you? You know, the nerves were probably all there and everything, playing in front of those people. What, did it get easier or did it get harder? Um, I think it got easier. Um, coming in as just a sophomore, it was just like wow like this is this is unreal and then as you keep going on it gets a little more comfortable but the butterflies are definitely there and i know that uh, you were down there for the state tournament this year to, to root on your your former hounds there uh, what did you share with the guys in the locker room when you were down there um i didn't get get to go down till after but it it's just you got to you got to take it all in i mean you're only there once twice maybe three times if you're lucky and uh you just got to go out there and, and give it your all because, I mean, there's tons of scouts and whatnot, and you want to bring, bring home the trophy for, for your hometown. Absolutely. And use, can you use some of those experiences in high school now that, as we head into the playoff season, you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, never been a part of the USHL playoffs, but I know it's a battle. Um, I'm definitely excited, and I think the past experiences will definitely help. All right. Well, we'll see what happens, and uh, good luck to you and the Fargo Force, and thanks for sharing your time with us. Thank you.